Recently, I've been seeing lots of people to have claimed to made the perfect scoop. But are these claims verified? Let's find out today by testing the world's most perfect scoops. So just before we get started, I wanted to give you some context. This is the perfect scoops that I was talking about. So there's loads of these videos with millions of views and you can see they just pop it up. So this person's done really well, but I think we can beat this. So what we've got here are the most popular protein powders in the UK. We've got USN, Optimum Nutrition, Applied Nutrition and Symix. And again, I've checked all the different scoops to see that we've got a nice variation. We do have two that are the same, but these two are different. So it'll be good to see which one creates the perfect scoop. I think we're gonna get some good results from these. So what I've got to remember is not only are the scoops different on these, but also the powders are completely different and they have con different consistencies depending on what added, added stuff they have in it. We'll be testing this against the control and I'll show you that in a second. So before we actually determine what the perfect scoop is, we need to figure out what the perfect protein powder to make that scoop is. What we'll do is we'll use these protein powders here and we'll test them in this gauge that I made. What this will do is we'll test the compression. So as I go down here, we'll see how much it compresses. Now we're not seeing which one is the most compressible. In fact, what we're doing is we're seeing which one's the closest to corn flour. I'm sure you've seen those videos of people eating chalk. What they're actually eating is compressed corn flour. It compresses really nicely into sort of these cubes. So we'll do a similar test now and we'll just see which one's the closest to this. So let's get on with that. So here's the setup. You can see we've got a cork gun with a pneumatic handle. As we press down here, you can see that it presses the little end there down and this is going to compress our powder. So let's load it up with our corn flour first, which we'll use as our sort of standard for the test. Just quickly, when I was taking this scoop, I, I can see exactly why this corn flour is going to be absolutely perfect for our standard for the powders. Because if you look, it is so, so, so fine, the powder. Look at that. It's even, it, it, I barely touched the surface and it's already made enough that it can crumb apart like that. This is an extremely fine powder from the corn flour. So it's perfect for our perfect scoop test. Ideally, we would use corn flour as the perfect scoop, but we need to use protein powders. So let's try it now. So this is the corn flour. Let's give it a first go. So let's see what happens. So it's coming up. Oh, okay. So we locked it in. That's not too bad. I think that's as far as it will go. It won't go anymore. Okay. Let's see what the distance is. So can you see where that, where that line sits? Right there. That's our ideal. So the one scoop should go to about there. So I'll mark that off, measure it exactly, and we'll see which one's closest to that. Right, let's give this a go. You see our little black line there? Now remember, that's where the corn flour is and that's our optimum. So we want it just touching that line, but let's see. So we've got some good compression. Okay, I think that's it. I don't want to damage the glass. So let's use our brush to move the stuff out of the way. Where is this sitting? Right, maybe we can get one more go out of that, can we? No, you see, look, so we're much, much higher above our line. We want to be just under that line. So you see, we're just above it. So let's move on to the next one. So I just want to show you quickly before we move on to the next protein powder. Can you see the pattern is already broken up there? When I did the corn flour, that was an extremely hard surface. Almost sounded like cracking ice when I broke it with a pencil. This is just falling apart already. So you can see that I, that proves, at least it has some initial proof for our test working. So next up is Symix. I've actually got quite big hopes for this because the, as far as I can tell so far, this seems the most like the corn flour, just in terms of when I scooped it. But let's give it a good test and see what it is. Right, let's run the test. That looks good. I think that's on it. Let's see. Use the brush to actually see where we are. Some comes up on the sides. So we're definitely closer. That's the closest one yet. Next up, we've got the optimum nutrition test. Let's see what happens. You can hear it's almost it's some, slightly more juddery. I don't know why. Oh, careful the glass. We'll be careful the glass. Okay, let's see what that is. Okay, not, I don't think that's quite as close as our Symix, if I'm being honest. It's not far off, but it's not quite as close. Finally, let's test our applied nutrition one. Now, I don't think this is quite as good when I scooped it, but let's see. Okay, much softer than the others that seem to be better. They have a crunchier sound usually. Let's see anyway, though. So I don't think this is the winner, but we'll who never know. Yeah, so that is much further away. You see the distance? Much, much further away than either of the two. I think our winner was Symix. So let's move on with that and now test the scoops.
So I think we ended up with a pretty obvious winner. It's got to be the Cymix. It was definitely the closest in terms of its material quality to the cornflower. And we saw that the line was matched closest. Not only that, interestingly, the actual crunch sound it made as it sort of compressed was very similar to the cornflower. So moving on with that, what we've got to do test next is these cups. We actually need to find out which cup makes the sort of the best scoop out of it. Now we have a few different options. Three of them were different. Uh, two of them were same from the protein powders we bought. Mm. So as I mentioned, up next, what we're gonna test is the actual cups themselves. You can see we have a couple different shapes here. So starting with our smallest scoop, let's just get some of the actual stuff that we need. So what I want to do is uh, have a lot of excess there. So you can see we've got loads of extra. This is our smallest scoop. And I bought this trowel to sort of get a good press onto that, really nice and flat. And then we can sort of just do that, something like that. So we'll try and keep that equal on all of them. I think we don't want to press too much. Don't want to add in loads, but we want a good a scoop and a nice press. So I think that's good. So now we've got a scoop. Let's flip it around and see what sort of shape it holds. Right, carefully do this. Get this flip exactly right. Okay, I think we're good. Right. Just give it a quick tap. Okay, so it looks good. We did get some breakage at the top. Otherwise, we have a do have a perfect shape. So that's a pretty strong start. Next up is this sort of bucket shape. I don't know how to describe that. Let's flatten it off at the top here. Let's just come down with our trowel. And then we'll take the excess off. Right. And then scrape the excess off. Right, that looks good. Let's flip it around. Okay, let's flip it around. Almost, that was good though. Right, give it a quick tap. Let's give it a lift and see what it's like. Okay, so I knocked the top there, but we do have a bit that's loose down there. Overall, I think it's a pretty good consistency, um, but we, yeah, loose bit on the front, loose bit on the top. So next up is this sort of tub one, I guess a larger version of the first one, but I'm not sure what sort of measurement that's mixing out. That's a, a lot of protein powder. Anyway, not the point. Let's flatten it off with our trowel here. Okay, that worked nicely. That looks good now. Let's flip it around and see how it turns out. So be careful here. Three, two, one. Okay. Kind of went everywhere. I think there's slightly too much material here. Let's just lift it up and see what it's like. Okay, it's not bad. That's not bad. But I do think we can see loads of cracks formed. Um, there's too much material here. There's so it, basically the weight of itself is pulling it apart as it falls out. So this is definitely not the perfect scoop. I'd say the best one so far was the first one. So now that we know the best powder for making the perfect scoop and we've got the best scooper for making the perfect scoop. Obviously there's others to be tested, but for now this is the one we've got. So, I bought this coffee tamper because I think this is actually gonna be really good at pressing the powder down and leveling it off. This is used to make espresso shots and you know the sort of, that's the original protein sort of uh, scoop, isn't it? It's that puck you get from the coffee. Um, that's sort of a similar satisfying -y thing. So I think this is gonna work really well for this. It's got a nice weight to it, so I think it will press down on a good amount. Uh, and it's almost exactly the same size as our little thing here, which is kind of mad, uh, not planned at all. So with all that being said, let's make the perfectest perfect scoop of protein powder. Okay, so we've got a scoop here and a coffee tamper. Let's load it up with some protein powder. So here's our scoop at the moment. Let's use our coffee tamper to, uh, you know, tamp the scoop. You see that is exactly, that sort of weight and texture underneath pushes all the stuff you don't want on the outside and really gets it all locked in in the middle and you just sort of twist it and we should end up, look how flat that surface is. We have a perfectly flat surface. In fact, I can even see some of the sort of granules of maybe sugar that are reflecting in the light. This is, it almost looks like marble. This, this surface is incredible. Um, right, now let, we'll clean that up and then we'll test our perfect, perfect scoop. Let's get the brush. So we'll just carefully brush away again. Don't want to add any texture to that. It's finally time to reveal the most perfect protein scoop. <laughs> Look at that. That is so cool. Did you see how it fell out and held its shape absolutely perfectly? 
That is not a single divot thing wrong with that. That is so cool. Finally, as a treat, because you stuck around to the end of the video, and I know you also well, let's cut it with this. That is nice. Let's do this. <laughs> so satisfying. Although on the viral videos, you see that sort of long tubular scoop. I think in terms of perfect scoopness, this tapered end is much, much better. Not only because it doesn't sort of create as much suction, potentially damaging the scoop, but also because then when it releases, it, it ha it's not hitting anything as it comes down. So you're always going to get that perfect scoop. But that's my two pennies anyway. Let me know if you disagree in the comments. I always love reading what you have to say. So hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like and a comment if you did. Subscribe if you want more content like this. Hope to see you next time. Very cool.